No one has ever been able to bear the preaching of the gospel. They will either turn against it with the fierceness of an animal or they will be converted. Throw yourself upon Christ. Trust in Him. Trust in Him. We are not called to build empires. We are not called to be accepted. We are called to glorify God. Eternity. The day you stand in those granite halls before the Lord of glory and kings, the greatest men on earth are divided and split and culled. Some cast into eternal hell and some invited into eternal glory. Live for eternity. These Olympians, how, how majestic they are, but only for a moment. They start training when they're four and five years old. They never do anything but train until they're 22. They run a nine-second race for a medal they hang up, and that's it. Cannot you give equal for eternal things. There is one there who is infinite in glory, and you will spend an eternity of eternities tracking him down, and you will never get your arms even around the foothill of his mountain. I can't live like this anymore. I can't live just reading books. I can't live just reading about revivals and about people who knew somebody who knew somebody who knew somebody who knew you. So many different things you want to know and do in all the books. Get out a book on God. This one. For it is for this we labor and strive because we fixed our hope on the living God. This is not some martyr thing in which we uselessly give our lives to nothing only to be pulverized without hope. No! We serve God and God will honor us. We have fixed our hope on that and that gives us strength. Strength. Oh, this life is a vapor. I'm 47, but yesterday I was 21. Where did it all go? It is a vapor. While you have strength, preach. I praise God that in His providence as a young man, I spent myself in the Andes Mountains and in the jungles of Peru doing what I no longer have the strength to do. While you are a young man, while there is strength in you, labor with all your might. Take those stupid video games of yours and crush them under your feet. Throw the TV out the window. You were made for greater things than these. If you're a child of the King, nothing on this earth can satisfy. Nothing. I want the power of God on my life. Then something's got to go. I want to know Him. Then some separation has to occur. Anything it takes, you have to literally be before the Lord. Lord, anything it takes. Anything it takes.